I have uh, five bags of wood here. Uh, wood gas truck, which has been out of commission for a while. I have a piece of a smoker. Very cold this morning. About 20 degrees when I got up. Uh, you can see the frost on some of the wood and stuff. But uh, I'll show you what's in the hopper. What we're going to be doing today is trying to make some charcoal right in the gasifier. See the ice on there? Uh, normally when I run these things I'll put some water on them. We've also had some rain in the past few days. But uh, last experiment I tried involved some paper so that's what you see down in there. But basically that's just wood. There's not a lot of char in there. Um, I've had a couple of unsuccessful attempts to do charcoal in this. So I contacted Mr. Charcoal, Mr. Gary Gilmore. He gave me some suggestions that I'll be trying today. Okay, I've filled up the hopper here. It's full of wood. This is just regular old uh, wood right out of the bags. Same stuff I use for fuel. Got my torch going. I chopped up a little bit of extra fine. I don't know if this is uh, necessary, but sort of kindling. Maybe that'll get going a little bit quicker. Got some newspaper and whatever straight out of the uh, straight out of the recycle bin. Need more than that, I don't know. Got a torch going here. Let's light it up. As I'm sure everybody knows, fire burns from top to bottom. The hot fire, the hot coals rest down on what's underneath it and catches that on fire. So we'll be making charcoal starting at the top and working our way down. Okay, we've got it going. Uh, paper is lit. It's burning good. Uh, I've got this piece of a smoker here as a chimney. It's about, oh, 18 inches high over the top of the wood. Uh, got the wood burning good in there. Keep this closed so we get a little bit of a draft, hopefully. A little bit of smoke coming out of there, but it's just paper burning off. And get the wood lit up. It is, see that, 10 o'clock in the morning. And uh, we'll keep an eye on it for the next couple hours. Okay, it is 10.08. And uh, things are doing good. Paper is still burning up there. Getting no smoke at all now. It's just clean heat coming off of there. I don't know if you can see the waves against the house there. I uh, wanted to show you, I've uh, got the air coming in here through the ash dump. You can see what spilled out of there. That's not good ash. I mean, you should never see that stuff coming out of a gasifier. But since this has been down for so long and I've tried several different experiments, that's basically just completely oxidized white ash with a little bit of charcoal in it. So um, we're not using this for a gasifier right now. Really, we're using it to make some charcoal. But uh, that ash dump is wide open. We're letting all the air get through and try to get this lit up good. Later on, I may have to shut that a little bit, uh, sort of restrict the air part of the way, and then at the end, I'll have to shut it completely. That will close off the air. I think it's important whenever you're doing something like this that you be careful to protect your seals. Now, this lid is going to get pretty hot because we've got a fire burning right on top of this thing, and uh, you can already see when it rained a few days ago and it froze to ice this morning all that ice is melted now and the water's starting to steam away that's not smoke you're seeing there mostly it's steam uh, get you some water this is not vinegar anymore it's just water fill this up with water it'll hold quite a bit especially if the truck is parked on the level make sure you keep it cool as long as you keep everything between below the boiling point of water you'll be alright. If the truck's not parked level 
and all the water runs to one side, that other side of the lid is not going to be protected. So try to get the truck level when you do this. It's more or less level here. Keep an eye on it through the day. Just keep refilling it a little bit. That water will keep our lid safe and cool. I'll show you all what it looks like inside there right now. It's getting pretty hot, so. Pretty good flame going. We're down way past the, uh, we're, we're well past the paper now. It's, it's wood gas burning. Still no smoke, burning clean. Everything's doing good. And it is 10.17, so we've been going for about 10 minutes now. Okay, uh, it is 10.21, 22. And uh, don't be confused by the steam that's boiling off. That's the water that I put on the lid. What you're looking at is out the top. Um, I had a little bit of smoke starting to come out. I looked at it, analyzed the situation. I decided that um, it was just too rich. There wasn't enough oxygen mixing in. So what I did was open this little door here on the smoker just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that, just, just a little crack open. And that has mixed in enough air that we are no longer too rich. I'll open this door so you can see. You might be able to peek in that crack there. Let's see. This is hot so I can't touch anything. See that flame swirling around in there. It really is swirling well. It's blazing hot. So I'll just keep that open. See if I've got it shut, we do get a little bit of smoke out of the top. Uh, some of that it's hard to tell because some of that is actually steam, but by the time it gets up in the sky, that it's not steam anymore. Smoke, you can tell the difference in smoke and steam if it lingers. Smoke will linger, whereas steam will just disappear. So now you can see out of the top we're getting a good clean burn, that crack in the door. A lot of water. Okay, it is burning pretty well now. Really, really well. Um, I've got to have the door wide open, otherwise uh, the flame inside just doesn't have enough air to keep up with the massive amount of gas that's coming out. Um, the way it is though, it's not making too much smoke, hardly any at all. Um, just a little bit escapes every now and then, but like I say, it's just because there's so much gas to be burning. I'm thinking that means I need to slow it down a little bit. There's, uh, there's no restriction on the air coming in the grate right now. So what I'm going to do is just reach under here. Push this shut part of the way. Okay. I can even feel that air rushing in there. Okay, now you can maybe see that. There's still a good air gap there. But that should hopefully slow this thing down a little bit. Preserve more of the wood as charcoal. Less of it as fancy flames. And let's see what kind of effect that had. It may take a while for this to catch up. Still roaring along in there, no problem. Um, but I imagine I should be able to shut this a little bit now. Without killing it. Still getting lots of steam off. That's why it's so important to keep water on your lid. That steam instead would be heat that would be destroying your seal. Okay, looking up here, I'm seeing a little bit more smoke than I like, so maybe I'll just open this back up. I'll keep an eye on it. This is sort of my regulator to decide how much air gets in here. Right now, full open. A lot of air, a lot of heat, a lot of fire. I mean, I can feel this thing way back here. This would be useful heat if I could figure out some way to capture it. Um, but for now, I just need to get the charcoal as quick as I can. So, I'll just enjoy it out here on this nice, cold de December day. Stand by a nice, hot uh, flame here. Now that the door is open, we're getting a 
virtually no smoke. A little bit of flame shooting out of the top. And uh, I'll keep you posted. Oh, right, the time. The time is 10.34. So we've been going for about half an hour now. Okay, well, uh, I had to jump up there real quick. Everything's good now, but uh, all of a sudden the gas just stopped burning. And uh, the door was open maybe about a quarter of the way. Yeah, maybe more than that. But uh, and somehow it was getting too much air. And uh, the gas was no longer able to sustain a flame. So I had to close the door almost all the way. We're back to the original just cracked open. It's not shut. Um, you can see there's a little crack there. So this is something you got to monitor. I didn't realize how important this door with the air thing is going to be. Um, it may be that if as soon as the uh, smoke starts coming out of the top, you don't need to open anything. You just need to slow the fire down. Um, but it's been handy to have a quick way to control the amount of air that's going in. Um, we're back, like I say, to having nice under control with the door mostly shut. So hopefully that means the fire is starting to slow down. The wood is just cooking slowly and not just all raging and burning away. And the time is 10.53. Okay, it is now 12 o'clock noon. And uh, things are still cooking along here. I just refilled the water. Uh, peek in the door here. You can see, still getting flammable gas. Uh, it's doing good. The door shut. No smoke coming out of the top. This has been a particularly good clean burn. And we're right here in a residential neighborhood and we're not smoking anybody out. Uh, there was one point where it did, the flame just did go out suddenly and we had clouds of smoke coming out and I had to relight it. But that was just an error with the uh, air admitting into the, uh, in through the door like that. So I've got the fire pretty much closed down. I'll show you what my air inlet looks like. Bear with me here. Okay, there's my air inlet. I can feel a little bit of a draft there, not too much. I guess I'll go ahead and bump it down a little bit more. There, so that's, I'll leave it at that for now. That's the only air getting in the system. Okay, so we'll have it nice and slow ease our way down to stop and dip the charcoal and because uh, we want it to run slow we don't want it to burn fast and hot and burn up all the wood and all the charcoal we want it to bake okay we are coming up on two and a half hours and uh, the watch says 12:31. uh things are still going all right this thing got a little more finicky because i suspect we're getting down close to the end of the gas um, still no smoke, but it just, it goes out sometimes, so I'm kind of sticking around close. Uh, if it goes out, a big old cloud of smoke will come out, and I'd rather not have that going all over the place, so this is much better. I mean, that is clear, clean, no smoke. I, I expect if it was dark out, we'd see a nice bluish purple flame coming out of there. Uh, nice clean wood gas. Still boiling off our water. You can tell it's getting low. I'll probably need to add some more soon. Uh, I've got my torch running there just in case this thing goes out. I can quickly relight. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think I've, I poked it with the rod. Um, there's still plenty of good stuff in there. So hopefully that will be charcoal here pretty soon. And uh, looking forward to seeing this how this turns out. Okay, it is now 12.38. Um, and uh, I've just decided to shut it down. Um, I probably could have let it go longer. There may have been more charcoal that could have been made. But um, I looked under the grate because uh, when you start getting problems with it to not wanting to maintain a flame, you got to suspect that there's uh, oxygen getting all the way through from top to bottom. Um, so sure enough, I looked in there. There was a little bit of a glow at the grate in one part and not at the other part and I think it may have rattled all the way through. So I'm just going to shut it down here 
Um, everything's tightly closed. The lid is uh, still leaking just a little bit. Most of what you see there is steam. The water's still very hot. So uh, I've just closed everything up. We'll let it sit. And uh, once it's all cooled down overnight, I'll come back and see what it looks like.